The governor called for an emergency cabinet meeting Monday to propose solutions to the state budget crisis, but just how bad is this situation and are there realistic things that can be done to turn things around? Joining us this morning is Arizona State Treasurer Dean Martin. Good morning, Mr. Martin. It is great to have you here. All right, let's go over this wish list to cut costs from the governor. I've got nonviolent illegal immigrants. She wants to, to turn them over to federal authorities so that they can be returned back to their homeland. She wants to create a wait list for kids' health care. She ordered that yesterday. That could possibly be put in place today. And she also wants a 5% pay cut for state employees. How much of a dent is this really going to make in this $1.5 billion budget deficit? It will make a little dent. Uh, probably the biggest piece of that is uh, not paying for the housing of illegal immigrants, shipping that off to the federal government. That costs us uh, hundreds of millions of dollars a year mm -hmm. uh, to house them. That'll be the biggest piece of this, but it doesn't get close to covering the entire gap. What will be? What is it going to take to bring those numbers down? Well, basically, you can't spend more than you make. Even as big as the state is, it's the same thing. Uh, you really can't spend beyond what you did in 2005. Uh, you could solve this tomorrow if everybody just lived on whatever they got in 2005. That would solve the budget tomorrow. The problem is uh, a lot of agencies don't want to do that. And the last time you were here, we were talking about how we were borrowing from banks, that uh, we were borrowing $700 million. $700 million, yes. And that was spent in how many days? In six days, they maxed out the credit line that we had gotten. Uh, now, we had expected that to happen because right. of the, the volume of spending that's going on. This November was the most expensive November in state history. October was the second most expensive October in state history. So the spending overall in the state, although some agencies have been cut, the overall spending is still the highest it's ever been. Now, Governor Brewer, we've always said that she is a proponent for a sales tax hike. Mm -hmm. You've always said, no, not yet. But wouldn't that be part of the solution? I mean, where are we going to get this money, this well, extra money? The, the, the temporary sales tax proposal uh, won't bring in anywhere near enough to cover uh, what the shortfall is. Uh, it, less than a third of the problem is what it'll bring in. And it won't help you at all this year. It's too late. Mm -hmm. There's not enough time to raise taxes before this fiscal year is over. So they've really missed their opportunity uh, to do this. Plus, you're not going to get out of this mess by taking more from the taxpayers we still have left. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to get more taxpayers in. We need to start growing jobs. That's the priority. Now, I've always wondered, how do we compare to other states in huge financial turmoil like California? Well, we are the worst in the nation when it comes to a budget deficit. Uh, the problem that we face, though, is mostly self-inflicted. If they hadn't increased the budget in 08 and 09 by double digits, uh, we would not have a, a problem that's out of line of what the rest of the United States is seeing. Uh, instead of seeing a 42 percent budget deficit, we'd be somewhere in the 17 to 20 percent range, which is what is normal, unfortunately, during this recession. All right. State Treasurer Dean Martin, it is great to have you here to break Thank that you. down. Thank you so much. We'll